In this video, we want to see how switching the wires on the battery affects the direction the motor spins. So you could see we have negative on black, positive on red, and we have them connected in that manner on the motor. So we have this, which will show us the direction. So watch this if I tap on the motor and observe the direction. Is it going to go clockwise or anti-clockwise? So you could see this is going the direction of the clock. If you pay attention, you can see it goes like the clock. So that's clockwise. Now let's try the opposite direction and see the effect on the direction of the motor. So we're reversing the wires on the motor, on the batteries, the batteries since we have two cells here. So you can see now I have positive on the side now, the negative. Now the wire which was positive is now on the negative terminal and this was negative is now on the positive terminal. Remember the first time we tried this, we add a clockwise direction or spin. So now let's try it this time and um, see what direction this will go. You could see it goes the opposite direction. Let's go back to the other one and switch again one more time. So you pay attention to the direction, red positive, black negative. That was the original arrangement, the first one. You could see this one going clockwise and switching it will make it go against the clock. So that's a way you can make motors spin forward and backward. So you can Im actually imagine this like you're using it to make your own motor, like you want to make a toy car. So you can actually make a toy car spin forward and backwards by reversing the wires on the terminal. So thank you. That's a very short one, like I said.